Hi, welcome to our seminar on improving the operational efficiency of HPC clusters. My name is Gord Sissons and I'm a product marketing manager with IBM. This material will be of interest if you're already using IBM platform computing products like LSF for Symfony. The session may also be useful if you're running other workload or cluster managers or simply want to learn more about HPC management tools. For the next few minutes, I'll cover the following topics. I'll speak about some of the challenges the customers encounter running high-performance cluster environments related to efficiency. Then I'll talk about two specific offerings that IBM has in this area that can help, Platform RTM and Platform Analytics. I'll explain some of the capabilities of one of these tools in detail and show exactly how someone responsible for a cluster can improve productivity and efficiency with concrete examples. After that, I'll recap some of the business benefits and point out resources to help you learn more. We all know that HPC centers face unique challenges. By definition, they're leading edge and they support sophisticated and demanding user communities. To better serve these users as well as the business, I'd like to be able to answer the following questions. I'd like to know what kind of wait times my users are experiencing. I may wonder if I have idle capacity and whether I can accommodate another project. I'd like to identify issues that are wasting resources because if I can avoid waste, I can improve service levels for everyone. There are many examples as we, see, as we see here, but without proper tools, answering these questions can be difficult. Effective management demands tools that are aware of resources, workloads, applications, and more. Fortunately, IBM can provide these kinds of tools. IBM Platform LSF, or Load Sharing Facility, is a sophisticated workload manager for high-performance computing environments. It's comprised of a family of products as shown here, and clients can license different capabilities depending on their unique requirements. Two of these add-ons, Platform RTM and Platform Analytics, extend the reporting facilities in LSF to provide more sophisticated capabilities, so I'll look at them more closely. Improving efficiency requires better visibility to operations, and these tools are intended to do exactly that. IBM Platform RTM can be viewed as a real-time dashboard to one or more Platform LSF clusters. It provides real-time reporting, tracking, monitoring, and management to help us get a handle on exactly how our cluster is operating. I'm going to deal mainly with the first offering in this talk because it deals with our topic of operational efficiency, but it's important to be aware of a separate optional add-on as well. Shown at the bottom of this slide, IBM Platform Analytics complements Platform RTM. Platform Analytics is an advanced analysis and visualization tool used to collect and analyze mainly historical information. It's essentially an analysis tool that can present gathered data in virtually unlimited ways using relational OLAP technology. Platform Analytics works with both Platform LSF and Platform Symphony environments and is an excellent tool for managers interested in topics like chargeback accounting and showback accounting. By understanding how clusters are being used and how usage resource is trending, I can make better decisions for the business. For the next few minutes, I'll focus on Platform RTM. Platform RTM provides real-time and historical reporting and can graph essentially anything it can measure over various time periods. While many cluster management tools only understand cluster resources, what makes Platform RTM unique is that it is not only resource aware, but it knows about workloads and applications as well. This capability to monitor workloads and resources together is what sets RTM apart. In addition to monitoring and reporting, Platform RTM also provides management and alerting. It can alert on essentially any parameter with configurable thresholds. In short, it's an essential tool for any organization that needs to efficiently support HPC clusters. Now we'll look at some concrete examples of how Platform RTM make clusters easier to manage. First, Platform RTM provides a bird's eye view of how one or more clusters are operating. Here I'm managing five different clusters spread across multiple geographies. I can see key statistics at a glance and ensure the health of the environment. By being able to manage multiple clusters, administrators are made more efficient. This means I can support larger clusters and larger user communities with much less effort translating into lower management costs. I can see additional statistics as shown here, and I can select one or more clusters using the check boxes at the right to perform management operations like starting or stopping system services or opening or closing cluster hosts. Because management is simplified, administrators need not be platform LSF experts. They can effectively support their user communities with minimal training or specialized knowledge. 
Administrators are always interested in understanding the status of the host computers that comprise the cluster. Platform RTM provides visual dashboards as shown here, where the state of any host computer can be seen in real time. Because the view of resources and workloads is integrated, I can mouse over any host and see details of not only the host, but drill into the workloads that are running on the host. I can also look at workloads that have run on the same host previously. Most management tools can't make these kinds of associations between workloads and resources. I can also configure threshold values that leads to different color codings to make meanings relevant for my environment. By being able to spot issues quickly, I can be proactive and address issues often before my users become aware of a problem. In some industries, tracking and managing commercial software licenses is important. Platform RTM embeds license monitoring and reporting capabilities as well. An unlimited number of license features can be monitored from an unlimited number of vendors. While RTM is oriented around tracking license usage, another platform LSF add-on called IBM Platform License Scheduler lets us devise policies to govern how licenses are shared among users, project teams, and different lines of business. License Scheduler is covered in a separate seminar. I can monitor, track, and report on license feature utilization by user and group. With this information, I can often identify where bottlenecks impacting productivity lie. For example, sometimes license features might be checked out for unnecessarily long periods of time because jobs are getting scheduled to the wrong types of hosts. By spotting and correcting these types of issues, my investment in software licenses can go further. Insights like this can help me use existing licenses more efficiently. I might even be able to avoid purchasing new licenses. A challenge that many administrators face is determining why jobs are lingering in queues and failing to run. This can be a major issue for users. When it happens, it directly impacts productivity and also causes frustration. There are many reasons that jobs may be stalled in a queue. Jobs can linger because of resource availability, job priorities, and because of any number of scheduling and resource sharing related settings. With so many variables at play, issues like this can be hard to diagnose. Platform RTM provides tools to easily solve these types of problems as well. For any particular pending reason, administrators can drill into the data to understand what users and jobs were affected and when. Platform RTM shows a timeline illustrating exactly why a job cannot be scheduled. By understanding what these reasons are, administrators will be on a path to resolving the problem. To the extent that we can make troubleshooting easier, we can reduce support costs and streamline help desk operations. Platform RTM helps with support issues by providing rich details about both currently running as well as previously completed jobs. By being able to trace details about past jobs when a trouble ticket is received, administrators can rectify problems based on a single occurrence rather than need to wait until problems occur again. One of the most powerful ways that Platform RTM can help us boost efficiency is by giving us real information about how applications use resources at runtime. Often users request more resources than they need. This is done using the resource requirement expressions in Platform LSF. They do this because they don't have an accurate understanding of how their jobs actually behave at runtime, so they make liberal estimates and request additional, additional resources to be safe. For example, if I tell my scheduler that my job needs 8 gigabytes of RAM, but my resource usage peaks at 3 gigabytes, I'm wasting resources that others could be using. Without these types of tools, an administrator could incorrectly conclude that their cluster is fully utilized and that they need to buy more hardware to get more job throughput. In reality, though, the solution is simply to make sure that the resources asked for actually match what the application needs. This is a key point that's often overlooked when it comes to making sure that shared HPC resources operate efficiently. And finally, one more way I can improve efficiency is by being alerted immediately in the case of unusual behaviors. Often subtle things can go wrong. Hosts running low on virtual memory, for example, or work in a queue piling up because jobs can't be dispatched for some reason. Sometimes these problems are not noticed for hours, and by then dozens of users might have been affected. Platform RTM lets me set up alerts based on a vast number of monitored variables. As an example, one way of spotting a problem with a host is to compare the wall clock time, the actual time that the job is run, with the actual CPU time consumed. If CPU runtime relative to actual elapsed time is too low, I know there's some kind of bottleneck affecting efficiency. 
Platform RTM can alert on this and other hard to solve problems immediately so that they can be addressed before they further impact productivity. A number of Platform LSF customers are using Platform RTM to increase efficiency of their operations. On the IBM.com website, there's an excellent case study about a client in the pharmaceutical industry. They use Platform RTM to monitor and manage clusters spread over several data centers. Their challenge is to make sure that they have adequate capacity for simulation and R&D functions as drugs proceed through the research pipeline. Being able to ensure capacity and guarantee service levels in this industry is critical to the business. They need monitoring to ensure that their service levels are being achieved. In this environment, Platform RTM helps them in three key ways. They've been able to improve user satisfaction levels in their R&D community by delivering a better quality of service. They're able to avoid costs by maximizing the use of assets across the data center. And with increased transparency and visibility to operations, they're able to plan more effectively to meet the demands of future projects. In summary, Platform RTM helps us deliver operational efficiencies in some of the ways shown here. I can identify and resolve problems faster. I can find bottlenecks impacting efficiency. I can reduce administrator workload and address small problems before they become big problems. I can improve service levels to my users, helping ensure that jobs run faster and linger in queues for shorter periods of time. I can also often find idle capacity on the cluster and avoid unnecessary cost. To learn more about Platform RTM and other capabilities that can help improve the efficiency of your HPC cluster, you can visit httpibm.biz slash platformlsf. From this website, you can make an inquiry or request a demonstration, or possibly consider a no-obligation pilot on your own cluster. You can also view other webinars in our series as shown here. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of how you can improve the efficiency of your HPC cluster. Thank you once again for your time.